Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month. You'll get unlimited access to the news you need to stay engaged and connected to your community. Visit DuluthNewsTribune.com slash subscribe now to get three months of local news for only 99 cents a month. Hello, Northlanders. It's Tuesday, May 16th. I'm White Buckner with your Duluth News Tribune Minute, presented by Minnesota Power Employees Credit Union. The average MPECU member saves over $785 a year in better rates and lower fees. And with MPECU, every ATM is your ATM. With their free checking program, you get ATM fee reimbursements at any ATM anywhere in the U.S. Check out Minnesota Power Employees Credit Union services online at mpecu.com or visit their offices in downtown Duluth, Arrowhead Road, or Miller Trunk Highway. Now here's a look at today's headlines. Landmark Development is pushing ahead with plans to build Lakeview 333, a proposed 15-story, 200-unit apartment building on Superior Street in downtown Duluth, despite repeated project delays. Chris Fleege, director of Duluth's Planning and Economic Development Division, said city staff have been talking weekly with the development team, which is in the final stages of securing financing for the project. He acknowledged that rising interest rates and construction costs have created challenges, however. When first proposed in 2018, the project was expected to cost $70.4 million, but that estimate has now climbed to about $85 million. To help the stalled project forward, the Duluth Economic Development Authority has boosted its financial support for the project, increasing the value of a tax increment financing package the city had offered from $6.2 million to $7.5 million in May 2022. Tax increment financing is a subsidy that uses a portion of the new taxes generated by a property to cover certain qualified development costs. To make way for the new apartments, three structures in the 300 block of East Superior Street have been raised, the Lake Walk Voyager Inn, the Hacienda del Sol Restaurant, and the First Oriental Grocery Building. A small portion of the former hotel has been left standing temporarily, as its removal could compromise the stability of an alley that runs behind it. In addition to providing housing, the building also is expected to provide about 20,000 square feet of retail space on the ground floor. The developer's initial aspirations for that space included a potential grocery store tenant. A bright green laser was pointed at the pilot house window of a laker entering the Duluth Ship Canal last month. The U.S. Coast Guard warned it could have damaged the eyesight of crew members, presenting a dangerous situation as they maneuvered the 728-foot-long Joseph L. Block into the port of Duluth. The laser was pointed at the ship April 21st, but it was discovered later when someone had filmed the ship entering the port was editing their video. Then they reported the incident to the Coast Guard. The YouTube channel One Long Too Short posted a video of the laser appearing on the ship's pilot house. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency has issued an air quality alert for the northern half of Minnesota from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. today. Wildfires in western Canada are sending smoke east and noticeable haze will be seen across the region. A cold front is expected to sweep across the state today and bring the smoke with it, with sinking air behind the front bringing the smoke to ground level. The alert includes all of the state roughly north of a line from Ortonville, along the South Dakota border, to Pine City and Pine County. People in the affected area may see and smell smoke even though the fire are far away. People in sensitive groups are encouraged to reduce outdoor physical activities, take more breaks, or do less intense activities to reduce their exposure. People with asthma should follow their asthma action plan and keep their rescue inhaler nearby. Smoke particles are small enough that they can be breathed deeply into lungs and enter the bloodstream. This can lead to illness such as bronchitis or aggravate existing chronic heart and lung diseases, triggering heart palpitations, asthma attacks, heart attacks, and strokes. Parts of western Canada are extremely dry. Alberta has seen more than 426 wildfires so far this year. In neighboring British Columbia, there have been 179 fires so far this year. Now here's a look at your forecast, brought to you by the Superior Telegram's history podcast, Archive Dive. The weather forecast for the greater Duluth area looks like kind of a smoky, sunny day today with a high temperature in the mid-60s. Northwest winds around 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting as high as 25. The smoke, by the way, coming all the way from northern Alberta, northern Saskatchewan. For tonight, mostly clear, a little hazy, a little breezy at times, low temperature dropping into the upper 30s. Wednesday, increasing clouds with a high in the low to mid-60s. Our next chance of rain will be some widely scattered thunder showers Wednesday night. Better chance on Thursday. I'm Storm Dragger meteorologist John Wheeler. Thank you to Archive Dive for their support. 
The monthly history podcast, hosted by Superior Telegram reporter Maria Lockwood, dips into the archives of historic events, people, and places around Superior and Douglas County. You can find a new episode of Archive Dive titled Quintuplets Help Launch Five Cargo Ships in Superior During World War II at superiortelegram.com or wherever you also get this podcast. Reporting for today's episode was done by Peter Passy, Jimmy Loverin, and John Myers. Thank you for listening to the Duluth News Tribune Minute. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.